in one of our previous videos, you learn how to find a percent of a number or a fraction of a number. We're going to use that skill here. So if you're not sure, go back to the other video or search our math mini lessons videos for parts of a number, fraction of a number, percent of a number. In this problem, we're going to figure out how to write an expression that represents this situation. We have seventh graders taking in five buses to the Bronx Zoo. Four buses are full. The fifth is almost full, four fifths full. And we know one eighth of all passengers are adults. So just reiterating, our goal is to write an expression. So that's the first part of our goal. Write an expression. And this is our key information. We have four and four fifths buses are full of passengers and we know one eighth of all passengers are adults so really what they're asking is what is one eighth of four and four fifths and in our previous video we learned that if i want to find a fraction of a number so if i want a fraction of i can rewrite this as a multiplication sentence so i to solve this i can do one eighth of four and four fifths that would be the problem that we would actually solve and we can get this number now we are really solving this out we know that four and four fifths we'd have to change that so we'll leave the fifths here five times four is twenty this is how we would actually solve it out which is still equivalent to one eighth times four and four fifths so we're going to hit pause here so you can jot this down into your notes and again we're going to rewrite as multiplication anytime we want to find a part of a number so a fraction of a number we rewrite this as a multiplication sentence let's look at it in one more example math marbles a triangle has a base of eight and the height is 40% smaller than the base what is the area so let's draw this triangle for a second. We know that the base is eight and we know the height, here's the height. Um, it is 40% smaller. So if let's, re, let's restate that. If something is 40% smaller, it is 60% of the number. So 60% of the base that's the height just so if that part is still confusing i'll say it in another way if this is all 100 percent, i'm saying that i want something that's 40 percent smaller so i'm going to take away 40 percent so if i took 40 percent away because it's 40 percent smaller you'd be left with 60 percent. that's why i'm saying that the height is 60 percent of the base so let's try and figure out the base before we can figure out the area of the triangle. So what is 60% of eight? We're gonna take that 60% and we're gonna turn that into a decimal. So if you don't remember how, just put a little decimal in the back and we're gonna go to the left, to the left. We move it two times over to 60 hundredths. And again, we're still turning this into a multiplication sentence. And you're gonna multiply these two numbers. I know that six times eight is 48. So 60 times eight is 480, and I move my decimal two times. So my answer is four and eight tenths. So now I know my height, and I know my base. So now we can do our second set in this problem. We can figure out the area. So let's start writing out our formula. Area is equal to one half base times height. We are gonna keep the one half. We know our base 
is 8 and we know our height is 4 and 8 tenths. And this is another place where we can do some thinking math marbles. You can try and decide do I want to keep all of these as fractions or all of these as decimals. Uh, for this I would much rather instead of changing this to 4 and 8 tenths and having a whole bunch to do, I'm just going to change this to a decimal. So remember all you're doing is taking this and you're dividing it to goes into one how many times. So you have your calculators, you can actually do this out. You should get 5 tenths times 8 times 4 and 8 tenths. First part is easy, 5 tenths times 8 is just 4. So 4 times 4 and 8 tenths. And then we're going to do our last part, 4 and 8 tenths times 4, and you should get 23 and 4 hundredths. Uh, it doesn't tell us what our units are though, so we're going to put units squared. And that's it for today, Math Marbles. Again, if I want to find a percent of a number, again, you're going to rewrite it as a multiplication sentence. That was our first step. Change that percent to a decimal, or if you wanted to, you can change it into a fraction. Either way, you're going to end up with the same number as your product. In this case, we use that number so we can actually calculate the area. So that's it for today. Math Marvels hit pause. You can jot this down into your notes. And in our problem set, you're going to have to change numbers to find parts of numbers. So fractions of a number, percent of a number, and we're going to rewrite those as multiplication sentences. See you in the next lesson, Math Marvels. Take care.